A640 says the evaluation, uh, to evaluate the policy of routine vaccination of infants for whooping cough, um, adverse reactions were monitored for 339 infants uh, who received their first injection of the vaccine. Reactions were noted for 69 of the uh, individuals. Okay, so we gave vaccines to 339 um, infants. 69 of them uh, had uh, negative, uh, had some kind of reaction, okay? So in this case, our P squiggle is equal, uh, rather than just doing 69 divided by 339, we have to do y plus 2 divided by n plus 4, okay? And that, that helps account for um, just the uh, variability by due to random chance. So here we get 69 plus 2 divided by 339 plus 4, or in this case 71 over 343. And when you do that, you get um, 0.207. Okay. The standard error is given by the square root of p squiggle times 1 minus p squiggle divided by n plus 4. All right. So we get 0 0.207 times 1 minus that, so 0 0.793 divided by n plus 4, 339 plus 4. And if you do a do this calculation, um, you multiply and you divide, you should get 0 0.022. Okay, so that's our standard error. So our 95% confidence interval, which is part A, part A says construct a 95% confidence interval for the probability of adverse reaction to the vaccine, okay, or basically um, the proportion in our population. Uh, who's going to have an adverse reaction. So the 95% confidence interval, that's given by p squiggle plus or minus 1.96 times the standard error. So in this case we've got 0 0.207 plus or minus 1.96 times 0 0.022 and 1.96 times 0 0.022 is equal to 0 0.043 Okay, let's round it off. And if you do 0 0.207 plus or, or minus 0 0.043, you get 0.164. And if you get 0 0.207 plus 0 0.043, you get 0 0.250. Okay, so this is our 95% confidence interval, and it says interpret the confidence interval from part A. So our interpretation is. We are 95% confident that the proportion um, in the population of infants OK, I should say the proportion uh, of adverse reactions, okay, in the population of infants is between 0.164 and 0.250. Okay, so that means uh, uh, we're 95% we're confident that um, you know the probability of having an adverse reaction is going to be between 0.164 and 0.250. So I, I can also write that. Okay, because in this case, proportions in the population is practically, uh, it is basically a probability. Okay. Adverse reaction to the vaccine is between uh, 0.164 and 0.250.